Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Welcome into Friday Night Blitz. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jake Brand. And Jake, even though uh, the two teams in tonight's game of the week are out of playoff contention, they still had something to play for tonight. Yeah, so we had playoffs start in many of our classes. 3A, 4A, 5A get underway next week. And our two teams in the game of the week, they most likely won't be making the playoffs. But there's still so much on the line for Des Moines Roosevelt and Des Moines East. A strong football program starts way earlier than high school, something that East High is trying to build. Trying to build a youth program, um, getting kids involved uh, with the program at a younger age, just getting them acquainted with, with the sport in general. Um, so, I mean, you got to create that love, right? So create the atmosphere where the kids can actually enjoy the sport and getting them there. Roosevelt has had the most recent success of the DMPS schools. Our youth program, our, our Rudder Club football has done a great job, um, you know, really building from, you know, from the second, third grade level all the way up. Um, you know, so we, that's why we're, we're able to have, you know, uh, really good numbers. When these teams meet tonight, all talk about program building is off the table. It's a huge rivalry between inner city foes. It definitely brings um, a sense of pride out, right? Like, so even for our crowd and our student section, and just having that that inner city and that you know they can talk amongst their friends back and forth at the other schools it's another great opportunity to go out and have that competition and go play those other um, the other DMPS schools and you know let our guys go compete against you know some of their buddies that are in the area and, and um, you know have potentially get some bragging rights these are guys we see all the time you know we'll we'll see the, some of the same faces in other sports yeah, we can see the, some of these guys just in the store regularly. This will most likely be the last game of the season for both teams. Both are well outside of the top 16 in the RPI rankings, but there's still a ton to play for. With a win, Roosevelt clinches a city championship. East can spoil that. You know, it'd be big for us, you know, winning the, the city championship, you know, being able to call ourselves the best team in the city. But, you know, ultimately, you know, for the next year and years forward, we're trying to, you know, have a, a winning record and go to the playoffs. I mean, who doesn't like to win? Um, but the main thing is, you know, just to finish out on the high note, everybody give that 100% effort. Um, you have a, that great attitude that we all like. Um, and just give them some memories, some highlights, uh, you know, when they go on and they go on to their adult life. It really does mean something to, you know, when we say that we're the best in the city, um, but we've got to go prove it. Um, and so, you know, this week gives us, a, gives us another opportunity to go out um, and prove that, that we're the best in the city. Game of the Week, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Let's see the highlights. East rocking their all blacks with the red treads. Roosevelt in the all whites. Those are sharp. First drive of the game took nearly half the first quarter, and it's Jaden Davison scooting in for the touchdown. 7 0 Roosevelt. East driving now. Devin Holman, the quarterback on the move, fires for Braden Johnson. What a throw. What a grab right in the bread basket. Now East inside the five. Fourth and goal. Holman to Jamal Taylor. What a grab. This one's all tied up at seven. We stay in the first quarter. It's back to Davison. Up the middle, nearly unscathed. The Rough Riders go up 14 to seven. His second score of the day. Now we flip sides of the field. Second quarter, Brady Palmer drops back and leaves it for Jalen Seals. He high points it, touchdown Riders, 21-7, and they cruise from there. It's a 52-7 win, and Roosevelt is Des Moines City champs. For the first time in over a decade, the Madrid Tigers went undefeated in the regular season. Now they're seeking their first playoff win since 2020. Head coach Brock Engel was a part of Madrid's last team that went undefeated in the regular season as a player. And he says it's been great to see this year's team replicate that success. But now that they've entered the postseason, the team knows there's still more work to be done and more to accomplish. It's awesome to be here at 8-0 right now um, and, and not worry too much what we've done in the past because it's a whole new season now in the playoffs. So um, we re we're really focused on that 1-0 each week, and this week it's, it's take care of business against IKM Manny. 
we haven't gone far. We haven't had a good, at this good of a team since 2016. You know, there's definitely some pressure there, but we're just gonna play our game tomorrow. But the town, you know, they're 100% behind us, and we got, you know, a community that's uh, really ran by football this year. So we're looking to make a pretty deep run, and you know, show the town what we're about. Well, here we go. The Class A playoffs. The IKM Manning Wolves on the road at Madrid. First drive on offense for Madrid. Just another huge performance by quarterback Preston Wicker. The junior avoids a few tackles and takes the direct snap to the house, giving the Tigers a 7 to nothing lead. On to the next possession. The Wolves cough up the ball, and Kyle Kruckenberg scoops it up for a huge scoop and score. Look at this dive into the end zone there. He's going to make sure he extends Madrid's lead to 14 to nothing, but we'll stay in the first quarter. Tyler Fuller takes the reverse and check out the wheels on this kid. Evades a few Wolves defenders, tight ropes the sideline and crosses the goal line to give Madrid the 21 nothing lead. Second quarter, it's Preston Wicker again. No surprise here. Another highlight of him, of course. Another rushing touchdown as he jukes the Wolves defender out of their shoes. It's Wicker's second on the day. Madrid up 28 nothing and they continue their undefeated season as they top the IQ. Key of Manning Wolves 45 to 7. Let's see some more playoffs. It's Class A action, a battle of the Cardinals. Earlham hosting Central Decatur, and it's Decatur to strike first. Kale Rockhold makes it 7 0. Now the other Cardinals driving. It's Earlham, but it's a fumble. Dean Layton picks it up. He's off to the races, but what a play from 15. He's brought down inside the five, but that still sets up Sam Booth, brother of former Iowa State basketball walk-on Carter Booth, 14-0 Cardinals. But Earlham does some magic here. It's tipped, and it's an interception by Keegan Long. Finally, some luck for Earlham, but here's an attempt at a trick play that goes horribly wrong. That one is picked off or fumbled, however you want to call it, by Decatur. But wait, there's more. Keegan Long, he just had the interception, gets another. That's a lot of turnovers. Decatur goes up 14-0 into halftime, and they hold on 14-13. Well, still to come here on Friday Night Blitz, the Roland story. Norseman accomplished something that hasn't been done in 15 years. How the team hopes it can propel them to the playoff front. NFL breaks down the week's action. He might have played his best game as a pro. Like no one else in the game. Are you ready to take? Inside the NFL. Tuesdays at 7 on CW Iowa. Reputation for meat. The best cuts, the best flavor, the best of the best. Beef, pork, chicken, fish. Our expert butchers bring more to the table every day at Fairway. It's what sets us apart and what brings us together again and again and again. Fairway, nothing but the best every day. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. In America, adventures can be both big and small. 
That's why we created the Ford Explorer, available with an intelligent four-wheel drive terrain management system and seven-passenger seating. Ford Explorer, the all-time best-selling SUV in America and ready for life's everyday adventures. Now, get a 2023 Explorer with FlexBuy for 2.9% for 66 months, plus 1,000 cash for select aged vehicles, only at your Midwest Ford dealers. TMZ! Rob says that Scott needs a woman that's a freak in the sheets. Oh, that's a bit distasteful. Time it in. Sounds like Rob needs a <laughs> Celeb Stories, TMZ. Weeknights at 9.30 on CW Iowa. Our first play of the week nominee comes from Madrid. I.K. Manning coughs up the ball, and Kyle Kruckenberg scoops it up for a huge scoop and score. He wiggles his way in the end zone. Stay tuned later in the show to see our other nominees. Tonight's playoff game between Roland Story and Clark was extra special for the Norsemen. The last time they hosted a playoff game was back in 2008, but they finally got the chance to do so this year after finishing the regular season with a 6-2 record and second in their district. The Norsemen believe they're playing their best football right now, and their four-game win streak certainly backs that up. With their community behind them, the Norsemen are determined to go on a deep playoff run. We've worked so hard this offseason to get to this point. Like We've worked day in, day out in the weight room. We've been working together, and it's really meaningful because the community backs us up on this and supports us. It's definitely exciting, um, especially being able to say that I've been on the team that did that. Um, and, you know, just being with these guys, it's just been a great experience this year so far. Here it is, the first playoff game from Roland Story in 15 years, hosting Clark up north. The Indians on the move first, but that ball is picked off in the end zone by Bose Clark. Roland Story keeps this one knotted at zero. Now it's the Norseman's ball. Trevor Bitten receives a 25-yard touchdown on the money, has to dive for it. Seven, zero, rolling. Roland Story, I guess you could say they're rolling. Jonathan Wilkinson now. He's a good wide receiver. Catches it with one hand in stride. That's not easy to do. He goes 85 yards for the score. 21 0. Roland Stories moving on 42 to 7. All right, staying in Class 2A, the undefeated Van Meter Bulldogs hosting Albia. First quarter. They gave it to Ben Gordon on the carry here, showing some great vision and patience. Get some good blocks, and there's nothing but green in front of him. He takes it in for an easy touchdown. Van Meter takes a 7 0 lead. Now, later in the quarter, Van Meter with the ball again. Baumhover takes this one himself, bounces around to the outside, shakes off a tackle, and makes his way into the end zone for the second touchdown of the night. And the Bulldogs were just putting on a clinic tonight. Baumhover with a short pass to Kale Trudeau. He pitches it to Nathan Becker, the big man hands down a nasty stiff arm. No one's stopping him from scoring here. Van Meter extends their lead to 21 after the extra point. On to the second quarter. The Bulldogs keeping their foot on the gas. No trickery here. Bob Hover connects with Caleb Moore for the fourth touchdown of the night and Van Meter runs away with this one downing Alvia 56 to 7. ADM and North Polk is a top five matchup that we could very well see take place at the Dome. Tonight's regular season finale is taking place in Adel. That's where we send it out to Dave Bingham for the highlights. It's week nine. 4A is really hard to figure out. Two quality teams come here tonight to Adel, North Polk and ADM. You know, both were in 3A last year, but both are clearly teams on the rise in 4A this year and looking for playoff positioning. Tigers nursing some injuries, of course. Aiden Flora getting that shoulder back, looking a lot better. Brevin Dahl, one of the best in the state out for the year. And North Polk gets it going first. This is Nathan Feldman, a little student body action off the left side. This is gets Feldman. it down to the 10-yard line. And then from there, it's Isaac Zosky to Carter the Van Brocklin. The Both Comets on the road the right score first, seven zip. Aiden Flores starts to heat up, though, here in the second quarter. Finds Tyler Gelhar for the big pickup here. Good moves by Tyler. Drive stalls. Field goal attempt for the Tigers. It's blocked. Colton Manock with the block for the Comets, and then North Polk takes over. Reggie Postel 
set to up pass. top here to Kale Red Yoakum. Quite a grab by Yoakum. Good pass and catch. Sets up Feldman in the power package. 14 zip Feldman. Comets. But Flora has the answer. He goes back to the air to Ryland Stein Smith for the Tigers. Fireworks in the area. Doesn't get in the end zone. He gets run down. And then Flora from there, so nifty, so hard to find. Takes the hand off to Makes a move the into the end zone. Miss, just ADM on the board, 14-7. Then Zoski has an answer up top again to Yoakum. Quite the catch here. Go up and get it, young guy. And then Feldman in that power package again finds the end zone for the Comets. More action in the second half. Both teams do add scores, but this one goes the way of the Comets. 28-17, your final. The Comets and Coach Tim Tabrink are your district champion. So now both teams will wait around to see where they play in the playoffs next week, which, of course, we'll show you right here on the Friday Night Blitz, our social media. We'll do more of that tonight on Dome Dynasty and a full recap next week on the Friday Night Blitz. Back to you guys in the studio. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we'll go inside the huddle one last time with the Ames Little Cyclones as they look to finish out the season on a high note. energy to power your life and you can count on Alliant Energy to keep the power on so you can take care of business every day. That's why we're investing in flexible, resilient energy now and in the future because your community is more than the place you live. It's home. It's ours too. That's why we're involved in our communities. Alliant Energy is here for you, improving the energy grid so she can keep the nightlight on. Why do I need vaccinations? If I don't get vaccinated, how sick could I get? Can I get multiple vaccines at once? What's done to make sure vaccines are safe? It's important to address your concerns about vaccines. Just make sure to get answers from people you can trust. Not from a social post or an opinion on the internet. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me, because I know you, and I'll always put your health first. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. Wow, you've really made our dreams come true. Life's better when you're under our roof. It's... Because when you feel totally protected, you can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve. Yes, that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. I'm talking about Save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto with American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. Do you have a cool photo or video you want to share with us? It's easy. Just use the We Are Iowa app, go to Near Me, and you can share with us there. Just upload your picture, tell us a little bit about it, hit submit, and you're done. Once our team reviews your submission, it'll show up on this map, and that's where you can see what other people are sharing, like your friend Holly, for example. Check out Near Me on the We Are Iowa app, and your next great photo might end up on our newscast. You can be a part of Friday Night Blitz with just your phone. Easily share your great photos and video with Near Me on the We Are Iowa app. Click Share with us, enter the details, and submit. Then watch for your content on Local 5's Friday Night Blitz, Fridays at 1035. We're the Band Theater Cheerleaders, and you're watching Friday Night Blitz. Inside the Huddle, sponsored by Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeons. This season has been full of learning experiences for the Ames Little Cyclones, and some of those lessons were learned the hard way, but through it all, one thing that never wavered was the team's resilience. With their playoff hopes on the line, Ames High went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sioux City East. The back-and-forth game ultimately ended in a heartbreaking loss for the Little Cyclones, knocking them out of playoff contention. I'm not going to lie, I've been doing this for, I think, 27 years. Friday night was probably one of the five most difficult losses I think we've experience. 
But like they've done all season, the little Cyclones pick themselves back up and turn their attention to their next opponent, Waukee Northwest. Even though they may not be playoff bound, Ames still has a chance to accomplish one of their other goals this season, which is beating a strong CIML team. Yeah, that would be huge if we could knock off Northwest. You know, it's a CIML team. Um, that's something we're yet to do. Uh, you know, that would be awesome to do that in the uh, last home game for sure of my high school career. So, you know, if we get that done, it'd be awesome. Regardless of the outcome, one thing that can't be denied is how far this team has come this season. I'm proud of the team, you know, sticking together and everything through everything. You know, there's times when it's easy to, you know, be at each other's throats, you know, and and uh, all the time. But I, I say we suck together pretty well, you know, and that's something to be really proud of. And despite what's happened, good or bad, you know, they come back and they're they're consistent and resilient. And um, I, I think that's a sign of where this program's come from in three years. That obviously we want to validate with wins on the field. Like our schedule got ramped up this year, and our kids are just resilient week in and week out. And you know, even after last week, they're excited as heck about the chance to go play a really good Waukee Northwest football team. So having that resiliency is going to be really important for this program moving forward. The Little Cyclones trying to finish out the season with a win at home over Waukee Northwest, but the Wolves draw first blood here. They're going to give it to Harry Linen, who bulldozes his way in for the five-yard touchdown to put Northwest on top. Just under eight and a half left in the first. Sam Johnson gets it out to Will Koning. He gets a burst of super speed down the sidelines and just blows by everyone, takes it 54 yards to the house, and the Wolves extend their lead to 14 after the extra point. But let's move to the fourth quarter. Ames not going down without a fight. Cameron can't and wine finds Lane Kenny over the top for the touchdown, but it just wasn't their night tonight. Waukee Northwest finishes out the regular season with a dominant win over Ames, 49 to 7. Urbandale at home against Ankeny Centennial. The Jayhawks really need this one if they want to get in the playoffs, but it's Centennial that strikes first. Elijah Porter scoots in 7-0. Jaguars. We're still in the four, first quarter, and it's deja vu all over again. They hand off to Porter up the middle, same spot. This one is all Jags, 41 to three. Bonder and Farrar looking to capture the district title with the win over Carlisle tonight. We'll start with them deep in Wildcat territory. The Blue Jays' Caleb Moore punches it in for a touchdown. And Bonner and Farrar takes a 7 to nothing lead. We see more of him tonight, though, on the carry again. This time, he takes it over 30 yards to the 20-yard line before being pushed out of bounds. Nice game there for the senior, but check this out. Jordan Ryle going to escape a collapsing pocket, avoids a tackle, then going to throw it to a wide open Aiden McDonald. He hauls it in in the end zone. And this is the extra point, but it's 13 to nothing Blue Jays. Now, I told you we'd see more of Caleb Moore. Well, here we go. Runs in for another touchdown. And Blue Jays take a 20 to nothing lead. This one was all Bond ran for our. They cruise past Carlisle 42 to 7 and come out as district champions. Speaking of district champs in this week's Dome Dynasty recap, Dave Bingham takes us through Van Meter's dominant Week 8 win over I-35, which earned the Bulldogs their 11th straight district title. Go offense on three. One, two, three, offense. Tonight, you have an opportunity to elevate yourself into more of an elite status. Okay, you have a chance to be champions all by yourselves not sharing it with anybody. And there are no do-overs to be 8-0. No. Now let's get after it, let's go. We ready? Dogs on three, one, two, three. Oh. Gordon right up the middle, great blocking, nobody there at all. And he walks right into the end zone for the first touchdown of the night. Bulldogs on the board. That away, that away, be ready to go. Punt by Williamson. Bobbles it, goes back, chases it, picks it up and tackled immediately. It's a fumble and they say I-35 has it. 34-yard field goal attempt here for the Roadrunners. And it is good by Tyler Hightink, and the Roadrunners are on the board. Bomb over. Gordon again. This time he tries the right side. Gets out around the end. Down the sideline, making people miss, using his speed. Bomb over. Gives to Gordon. Loses the ball. The Roadrunners have got it. Two quick turnovers early in the game. Bomb over. Gives to Gordon, looking for running room up the middle, and he has it. Avoids tacklers, and he kicks it outside, and he's away from everybody, and he's going to get to the end zone. Lindsay on for the extra point. The kick is up. The kick is perfect. 
Williamson will punt this away. The ball was snapped low. He barely got a hold of it. Bulldogs are going to have the ball inside the 40. Bomb over, wants to pass. Sets up the screen. It's complete. Plenty of blocking. Nobody in front of him. This is Doggett all the way to the end zone. That'll wait, that'll wait. Let's go. Good job. Let's go. Give to Gordon. Right up the middle. Bounces out to the left again. He's making everybody miss. Out running everybody to the end zone. He gets there. Hey, Ben. Way to be patient, OK? See what patience gets you? Yeah. OK, good job. Punt by Williamson once again, this time from his own five. Side of the foot. Moore's going to let this one bounce. But it comes right to him, now, so he picks it up. Nobody Run in front away. of him. Why not? Keep Let's going. run inside the That's 20. Right. Makes a man miss at the 10. Makes another man miss. He's in the end zone. Bomb over, fakes the handoff to Gordon. Fires deep down the right sideline. Bobbled but caught before he gets out of bounds. Bomb over. Gives to Gordon. Stiff arms down the sideline. Makes somebody miss, and he's in the end zone once again. Low snap goes right through the legs of Williamson. Inside the 20, he's going to have to fight to get this one off. He's not going to do it. Van Meter, a trio of Bulldogs, tackle him right at the 12. Baumauer keeps it himself. Nice block, good move. Cuts, fakes, makes people miss. Easy pickings. Dodds. Here's a pitch. Right side. Nowhere to go for Von Hami, and he is drilled by a trio of Bulldogs. Van Meter victorious at home tonight, 47 to 3. Hey, 11 consecutive district titles. Nice job. Nice job. 8 0 on the regular season. Okay, those are some accomplishments, all right? How about them dogs? One, two, three. Dogs. We had some Thursday night lights action at MediaCon Stadium last night. Des Moines, Des Moines North hosting Indianola in their regular season finale. The Indians get on the board first thanks to this rushing touchdown by Jake Pontier. They take a 7-0 lead after the extra point in the first quarter. But let's move to the second quarter now. North pinned deep in their own territory. Jadrian Knob trying to connect with Tegan O'Brien, but it's intercepted by Adler Dyke. Takes it in for the easy pick six. And they're scoring a plenty tonight for the Indians. Pontier on the carry again runs through the defense like a hot knife through butter. Touchdown Indianola and they go on to win this one in shutout fashion 56 to nothing over Des Moines North. We're going to take another quick break, but when Friday Night Blitz returns, success is often followed by high expectations. Coming up, why Southeast Pole quarterback Connor Moberly says he's not really feeling any pressure. Ben, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. Since visiting the Good Feet store and wearing the orange supports and being pain-free now, my mood and my energy has drastically improved. Once that energy gets into you, double spins. <laughs> Thanks to the Good Feet store. Wyckoff Heating and Cooling gives you peace of mind, as in no worries. It's knowing the Wyckoff family is standing by to help keep your family comfortable this season. It's knowing that Wyckoff always has competitive financing options to fit your family's budget, including no interest and no payments on any new installation. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling wants for your family. Wyckoff, for peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. Toyota owners or lessees may qualify for $1,000 loyalty cash on the lease of new 2023 Toyota vehicles. Toyota Trucks. Let's go places. 
Attention homeowners, LeafGuard by Home Solutions of Iowa is celebrating 20 years in business. And we started with 50, now we're looking for 30 homeowners to participate in our home makeover event and receive test market pricing. We want to evaluate our patented one-piece seamless gutter systems on real homes. You'll be compensated for your time just to determine if LeafGuard is the right fit. Call now, 30 homeowners will receive these special savings. 50% off installation of a complete LeafGuard system. 12 months, same as cash. Senior and military discounts. Call during this program for a free $25 Visa gift card with estimate. And a bonus. The first 10 callers will receive an additional $100 off their LeafGuard purchase. From Des Moines throughout Central Iowa, call now with zip code and location to qualify. 1-800-272-0452. That's 1-800-272-0452. All right, our second play of the week nominee comes from Van Meter. This play just had everything. The trickery, the stiff arm, and the big man touchdown by Nathan Becker. My goodness, that was just awesome. Southeast Polk is off to an 8-0 start and sit atop the Class 5A rankings in their quest for a three-peat. Senior quarterback Connor Moberly has played a large part in that success. In a battle of the unbeatens, it was number one Southeast Polk going for the win over number two Dowling. Mobley, quarterback sneak. I don't think he got there. He's short. He is short and it's fourth and one. The second time's the charm. Mobley under center, quarterback keeper up the middle. I don't know if he got it. He reaches it across. Touchdown, Southeast Polk. Me and Coach Z, we, we kind of have a relationship that's been growing through the past couple years, but I, I knew we were going to end up running again. So, you know, I just kind of went back under center and just gave him my all in that last play. Plays like that are why Moberly has only lost one game in his two years as the starting quarterback. Taking the role of leadership in the team, you know, quarterbacks obviously got to lead, and um, quarterback's job is to win the game, which I've, I've done a pretty good job of uh, the past couple years, but, um, you know, just uh, blessed to have the teammates that I do. In our program, it's about leading the team and, and, and winning games, and he's been as good as anybody we've had. From year one to year two, he's made strides all over his game. He's improved athletically, you know, he's uh, I think one of the m most underrated parts of his game is obviously, you know, making plays when things break down. Even with the more pressure that's probably on me now, I don't even really look at it like that. I feel like I'm definitely more confident and more relaxed when I'm playing this year. Moberly is committed to Iowa State and will head to Ames this winter after graduating early. He won't be the first or last Ram to make an impact at the next level. We spent a lot of years around here um, with not having a lot of college players, and so to be able to have the run that we've had uh, speaks to uh, you know those players, their families, and obviously, hopefully, the program that we're trying to build here. Moberly and the Rams are looking to join Rarified Air this postseason and complete the three-peat. Three-peat's obviously going to be pretty tough, and everybody's going to have their, their best shot against us, but, I mean, just going in every week, just getting better, I think we'll just be perfectly fine. All right, well, it's time to take a look around social media to see what people had to say about tonight's games. And we definitely had some good ones. This one is from North Polk, back-to-back uh, -back district champs after their win over ADM. And, man, they just kind of felt like they were a dark horse throughout the regular season. But, I mean, ma they made a statement with the win that's tonight. A, that's a tough district to win. You yes. beat ADM, you beat Indianola, both pretty convincingly. And they've earned themselves a good seed at state, I'm sure. All right, let's see what's next. We've got Preston Wicker hitting Jake Leonard for the score. Madrid keeps that undefeated season rolling. I know you were up there yeah. this week, and that seems like an excited community for football. Yeah, well, I talked to both of those guys, and that's one thing they said. They that The support that they've gotten from the community, how hyped up they've been. The, the last time they had a season like this was, I mean, 2016 was pretty good, 2010 undefeated. So they're trying to kind of replicate that success and bring it all back. They're off to a good start. This is Bishop Heelan. First play out of the gate. Anytime that you can score on the first play from scrimmage, that, uh, that sets things up. Wow, he threaded the needle on that one. Bishop <laughs> really? Heelan there. 
they're always at the dome and they're always they're always a tough out for our central Iowa teams. Definitely one to keep an eye on. We'll see what's next year. All right, from Urbandale, um, tough night for them going up against Ankeny Centennial. Um, but hey, what can you do? I mean, Centennial looking good right now. Yeah, Centennial's playing their best football down the stretch. Urbandale finishes with, I mean, Johnston and, and Centennial. That's that's a tough two game stretch to end the season on. That's just life in the CIML though. Tough game every night. Dwight Meacham, fun fact, I live in his old house. <laughs> that and is I a grew, fun fact indeed. I grew up playing <laughs> baseball with his son. So his, his son went to Indianola, but his nephew plays for Roosevelt. Oh. So shout out to Dwight. He's a great dude. I haven't seen him in a while though. Good stuff. Thanks for using our hashtag there, Local 5 Blitz. All right, let's see what's next. And that's Northwest. Yeah, this one uh, was tough for, for Ames. Obviously a great win for... Uh, oh, this is the freshman team. Okay. Oh, this I was going to say, I, was this so was a li I know the score was different because we just said this a little bit, but it was actually kind of similar. I believe, I think maybe 49 to 7 was actually the final from uh, the varsity game tonight. But hey, Waukee Northwest, a really good football team, really hitting their stride uh, at the perfect time. Yep, and their, their freshman team, anytime you can go 9-0, <laughs> that sets up the future real nice, you'd think. Definitely. Well, congrats to the freshman team. Well, we've still got plenty more to get to here on Friday Night Blitz. On the other side of the break, we'll introduce you to this week's Fan of the Game. <laughs> has finally made owning a hot tub affordable, selling directly to the consumer, saving you thousands. We are the manufacturer. With our in-house financing, we offer 100% approvals with payments as low as $59 a month. Shop now at shophottubs.com. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. The loosest slots, the biggest pots, connect the dots. The loosest slots, the more you play, the more you stay. The loosest slots, the biggest wins, the biggest grins. The loosest slots, you win a lot, so hit the spot. You'll always spot the loosest slots. Meskwaki Casino, your moment, your place. We could tell you all about what makes Ford F-Series the number one trucks in America for 46 straight years. But why tell you when we could show you instead? Because in the Midwest, talk is cheap and actions speak. On the lake, on the job, or on the town. Choose the trucks that deliver on the claims. Ford F-Series is made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to 3250 bonus cash on F-150 XLT. Official truck of the Kansas City Chiefs. This corner of the country, our corner, is ideal for growing many things, one of which has made Mid-American a national leader. Clean, renewable wind power, homegrown and harnessed from our very own backyard, generated from investments in wind turbines that help keep our energy rates low, investments that have created jobs, partnerships with landowners, enhancements to our communities, and have attracted new businesses to our state, to our corner of the country. America's number one hot tub manufacturer states this fact, made in the USA. All our hot tubs are built right here. Selling hot tubs directly to you saves you thousands while keeping jobs here in the USA. Shop us now at shophottubs.com. Coach of the Week, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. Where the North Pole Comets are district champions once again, thanks to their 28-17 win over ADM tonight. We'll send it back out to Dave Bingham, who's with our Coach of the Week, Tim Tabrink. Welcome back to the Friday Night Blitz, our Wyckoff Heating and Cooling Coach of the Week, Coach Tim Tabrink. I don't have anything to say except that it did feel like a playoff game. It really did, didn't it? I mean, you 
been involved in some of those, but this was pretty special. It, it was. It had a great environment. Our crowd was great. Their crowd was great. Uh, that's a heck of a football team. Uh, and number two, it had uh, I me mean, sleepless for about a week. Uh, knew he was going to play. Knew we were going to get his best effort, and, and he brought it. And uh, that, that's a tough team, and we're glad to get out there with a win. When you look at what they were able to do last year to get to the Dome, it's such a special thing, and, and he's a special player. But it really shows where you've come to be able to be in these moments. And you could tell your kids are really hungry. They were. I mean, you know, we lost to these guys twice last year. Good team. Uh, I don't know if it was a, a, a red letter game, so to speak, but our kids definitely had this in their in their sights. Week nine. Uh, and for us to come out and play as well as we did on offense, make plays on special teams, blocking two kicks, a punt and a PAT or a field goal, and then getting some turnovers on defense was, was huge. It was a four-quarter game, but we got the win. Special teams, was that all you or anybody in the coaching staff uh, do, doing a good job? It's a collective unit. <laughs> it, it takes it takes a village uh, to make sure everybody's in the right spot. And uh, we, 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 got, we got some fast guys off the edge that we knew we had a chance and we executed. As you turn around for the playoffs, you've got to feel different about this team than you any team you've had here. It's a pretty special team. It is. I mean, we started building last year already with the seniors last year and then having 28 seniors on this year's squad uh, leading the way and, and really putting in the time has really paid off. They're all making plays. They're all helping out. Uh, and it, it's just a special group that likes to be around each other. Two good football teams tonight. North Polk gets the win. Our Wyckoff Heating and Cooling Coach of the Week, Coach Tim Tabrink. Send it back to you guys in the studio. Fan of the game, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. Senior night isn't just for the football team. It's for all the fall sports, the band, the cheerleaders. This week's fan of the game is Melissa Perez. She's excelled on and off the field as homecoming royalty, the student body president, and it's also her last game on the sideline as a Scarlet. I'm so sad about it because it's just like, I know that I'll miss um, this feeling of just seeing everybody here. Just like, I don't know, I'll just miss it. It was a lot of ups and downs, but overall, I know I'll look back on it and I'll miss it so much. Well, it's awesome. Congrats to her on a great, uh, you know, four years. I know senior year is always bittersweet. Yeah, no, it. <laughs> You never get the four years back, but you always have the memories. That is true. Well, when we come back, as we continue to reflect on the legacy of revered high school football coach Ed Thomas, we'll hear how the lessons he taught through coaching still resonate to this day. Taco John's, we never judge a book by its cover. But if the cover is a one-of-a-kind flatbread coated in aged cheddar, crispy shredded potatoes, and our signature potato ole seasoning, we say judge the shell out of it. New Cheddar Crunch Tacos, only at Taco John's. The best meat, the best grocery, the best value. Every day at Fairway, we're here to serve you the sweetest savings, the freshest finds, the local flavors you love and the finest cuts in town. We're proud to have a spot at your table. That's why, whether you shop in store or online, you'll get nothing but the best for a lot less at Fairway. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. Did you get a new Roku? Now you can catch every local five newscast live or later. Download the We Are Iowa Plus app today and watch us on your schedule. First it was just like these distant roars in the dark, you know, but then they started getting closer and closer, and that's when I saw it. This was no bear. It was like a bear squatch. What? Dad, what's a bear squatch? It's a cross between a bear and a sas... It's made up. The legendary Lexus GX. 
with Apple CarPlay support. He's usually sleeping. He'll never sleep again. Lease the 2023 GX460 for 639 a month for 36 months. If money talked, it would tell you about the premium ingredients on Taco John's Valuous menu starting at one, two, or three bucks. Hand-cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico. And if your appetite talked, it would say cha-ching. The Valuous menu only at Taco John's. Time for Play of the Week, nominee number three, and this one comes from Roland Story. This is an awesome one-handed grab for an 85-yard touchdown. What a play, not easy to make. Well, there were many lessons players and coaches alike learned from Ed Thomas, but one that resonates the most to this day is his emphasis on coaching his players to be good people. The, the thing that he challenged everybody with even before his death was the fact that, you know, you, you got to coach more than just the X's and O's of football um, or what any, whatever any sport is that you're coaching. I think it's, it's more about um, how you teach young people to live their lives, um, whether it's in the school, in the community, how to become a better uh, parent, um, all those types of things. And I think he was the one that really, at least in, in my life, really opened my eyes to that. I think when you talk about a legacy and how you want to be remembered, um, that, that, is, that is how I remember him first and foremost. And having talked with you know, coaches across the state of Iowa, even, and even outside um, the borders of Iowa, people know his story, people know his legacy. And, um, and that's something that now that I'm kind of in this position, um, I feel like that's my job to do as well. And, you know, lucky for me, I've got reminders up on the walls everywhere for that. So I'm, I'm never going to forget. I've waited a long time, fellas. I'm looking forward to Friday night. Two of the most tradition programs in the state of Iowa are going to go at it. And it's going to be a matter of who's going to be ready to come and play on Friday night. You got that? Everybody, it's going to take everybody there. I feel like this, you know, the Ed Thomas Award, um, it's, in my opinion, the, the most special award that any Iowa high school kid can receive. And I, and I don't think they all realize that. Be able to say for the rest of your life that you won the Ed Thomas Award, I mean, that's, that's special. Um, and so, and, you know, me being, again, having lived it, um, being in the position now, I think you would just realize it all the more that, um, you know, more coaches, more people in, in the state of Iowa need to know more about this because um, it truly is something that, you know, if you, if you win it, nobody can ever take anything like that away from you. Well, we are moving right along here on Friday Night Blitz. On the other side of the break, we'll reveal our Play of the Week winner. Local 5, our goal is to go beyond reporting the big stories. We value our community because we are part of it. We stand together on the issues that impact us. And make an effort to understand where you are coming from, your concerns, your stories. That's why we go where you are. We advocate. Celebrate. With you. And strive to be that familiar face that you trust. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. 10 years in the NFL is hard on your body, so is getting older. Limitless Mayo Medical customizes your treatment plan to address energy loss, weight gain, performance decline, and more. Don't let age or stigma hold you back from feeling your best. With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains, or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4-inch diagonal touchscreen, whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing, plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups. Plus, get 1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. 
Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore. And if this year is anything like last year, folks are going to be coming in early to get things for their houses. What you need is a high efficient gas insert from Heat and Glow. Come in now and beat the rush and Heat and Glow will help you out with some special promotions on gas inserts. We'll be doing up to $200 off on our gas metal inserts to retrofit into your drafty old wood fireplace. Come early, beat the rush. Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas in Urbandale. When the weather is severe, here comes a cluster of storms. Local 5's coverage doesn't stop with the We Are Iowa app. Should be in our southeast counties, the strongest storms. We Are Iowa's most accurate forecast anytime, anywhere on the We Are Iowa app. I was in just terrible condition. I decided to come down here and have the guys see if they could help me, and they did. I've lost 150 pounds. My uh, final goal is to lose 200 pounds. Limitless mail is going to make sure I do. Play of the Week, sponsored by Taco John's. Well, we had three really awesome plays uh, tonight in the running for our Play of the Week. So, Jake, do us the honors and tell us who won this week. This was one of the tougher ones to choose that it was. we had all year. And it's Nathan Becker of Van Meter, a trick play, a little hook and ladder to the big man, stiff arm, touchdown. Nothing beats a good trick play. Coaches, if you want to win this Play of the Week, Show some creativity like that one. Well, and also anytime there is a stiff arm like that, I mean, it's hard not to go with yes. that. I mean, that was just something vicious. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. I've been on it. It's not fun. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Well, we're in the home stretch here on Friday Night Blitz. After the break, we'll give away our game ball for week nine. U.S. Cellular is built for Iowans. It's a network for telling inside jokes from across the country. Built for streaming your favorite song one more time, ten more times. Built for capturing the moments you'll never forget. U.S. Cellular is proud to have been awarded top performing network availability in Iowa. With coverage across all 99 counties. U.S. Cellular, a network built for us. With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains, or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4-inch diagonal touchscreen, whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing, plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups, plus get 1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. More Iowans drive Chevy. Why do I need vaccinations? If I don't get vaccinated, how sick could I get? Can I get multiple vaccines at once? What's done to make sure vaccines are safe? It's important to address your concerns about vaccines. Just make sure to get answers from people you can trust. Not from a social post or an opinion on the internet. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me, because I know you, and I'll always put your health first. Sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. All right, it's time to give away our game ball for a week nine, and we're going to go with a rolling story defense. They played lights out tonight. Yeah, those cheerleaders just gave it away. <laughs> Five turnovers, three picks, two fumble recoveries. You can see that one saved a touchdown and led the Norsemen to their first playoff win since 2008. I mean, it was so interesting when I went and talked to them earlier this week. I asked them, hey, what's different about this year's team? And they're like, you know, it really started in the offseason, how we lift, the chemistry we have with each other. And it's, it's really paying off. They are on a roll right now. Sometimes it's more simple 
than you think. That is true. Well, we are going to take one final break, but when we come back, Jake and I will give our final thoughts on week nine. Taco John's, we never judge a book by its cover. But if the cover is a one-of-a-kind flatbread coated in aged cheddar, crispy shredded potatoes, and our signature potato ole seasoning, we say judge the shell out of it. New Cheddar Crunch Tacos, only at Taco John's. Peace of mind, as in no worries. Like when you sign up for peace of mind plan service with Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. It's knowing your heating and cooling system will be inspected each spring and fall and will be maintained at its highest level. It's knowing that for less than $21 a month, the Wyckoff family will take care of your family. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling is all about. Wyckoff, for peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. Truck Month is back at Iowa's number one Chevy dealer, Carl Chevrolet. Qualified buyers can get 0% for 36 months plus 90-day payment deferral on select new 22 and 23 Silverados. Or receive 2.1% financing on select new Blazers, Equinox, Trailblazers, and Traverses. Details at carlchevrolet.com. Your dealer for life, it's the car away. Locked on MLB podcast. Miami and San Diego are two real nice places to live. And I thought they were both going to be in the postseason this year. But I didn't think the Padres were going to be the long shot. Listen or watch today wherever you get podcasts. If money talked, it would tell you about the premium ingredients on Taco John's valueous menu starting at one, two, or three bucks. Hand cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico. And if your appetite talked, it would say cha ching. The valuest menu only at Taco John's. All right, well, before we get out of here, as we always do, we got to give our final thoughts on week nine. What stood out to you? I think probably just the teams that we featured throughout the week, the yep. Madrid, the Roland story, mm -hmm. they got the hype from us. They got that coverage, and they lived up to it. They, they didn't leave any doubt. And two teams that maybe aren't known for making deep playoff runs, at least recently, they look poised to do it, and it's, tonight's a great start. Yeah, and I think, you know, the hard part of that, too, is when you are that successful, there's that hype that's built up, like you said, and uh, to live up to that is, you know, when you haven't previous, in previous years, that's a tough thing to do, and they, they're doing it with, the, with ease. Yeah, Coach Zelenovich at Southeast Polk, his guys are all media trained because they deal with it weekly, but <laughs> those smaller schools up north maybe don't get as much coverage, so you don't know how that's going to affect them getting coverage or, or not, so... Looks like they, they handled it well and maybe played with a little extra fire. That's true. Well, they're definitely fun to watch. Just a quick reminder, we're going to a 30-minute show the next two weeks, so make sure to tune in. But that's going to do it for us here on Friday Night Blitz. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery.